Hello everyone and welcome to the default scene. My name is Jacob and today we're going to be going over how to speed ramp footage using the Blender VSE. This is a really simple process and I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Go ahead and open up Blender and then select a video editing workspace. Once you're there, you can import your footage into the timeline. You can hit Shift A and go down to movie or image slash sequence depending on what your footage is. For me, I have a .mov file, so I'm going to import that as a movie. Once I have my footage imported, I'm going to change the frame rate of my clip from 59.94 frames per second to 23.98 frames per second. This is going to give me nice, smooth, slow motion. And then I'm going to go change my file browser into a graph editor. Now I'll give myself a little more screen real estate and I'll scrub through my footage to find the shot that I want to speed ramp. I have a simple shot that goes from blurry to focused on a bowl of fruit. So the first thing that I'll do, I'll put my playhead where I want the shot to start and then I'll select the start of the footage and hit Shift A. Then I'll scrub to the point where I want the footage to end and select the end of the clip and hit Shift A in order to snap the start and end of the clip to my playhead. Now I'll go ahead and move that back to frame one and then I'm going to create a meta strip by having my video strip selected and hitting Control G. Creating a meta strip means that the time code of my strip is reset, so it starts from zero to one. I'll just say that if you don't do this, you're gonna have a hard time speed ramping your clip. Next, with my meta strip selected, you can go ahead and hit Shift A and add in a speed control clip. Now, select the speed control clip and go over and untick stretch to strip length. Change the speed factor to one and then start from the beginning. Now start at the beginning of your clip and scrub to the point where you want to start getting faster or slower. Then add in a keyframe by putting your mouse over the speed factor and hitting I. Move a few frames forward and increase the speed or decrease the speed. For me, I'm going to increase the speed. Once you increase the speed, hit I on your keyboard again with your mouse over the speed factor property. And you'll be able to see within our graph editor that we have some keyframes. The next part is really important. Make sure that your mouse is inside of the video sequencing editor and hit Control R to clear the cached frames. If you don't do this, you may be seeing the previous version of the cache, which is not the speed ramped version. Now move forward until you want to slow back down and repeat the process of hitting I in the speed factor property to set a keyframe, move a few frames forward, decrease the speed back down to one, and hit I again. Now, to really ramp this and make this feel interesting, let's go over into our graph editor, and I'll select all of my keyframes and hit the T key and select Bezier curves. Then I'll select my first and last keyframe and zero out their Bezier curves. Finally, I'll select the middle two keyframes and hit the letter V on my keyboard and choose free. This will allow me to change the different sides of the Bezier curve without influencing the opposite side. And I'm going to change the shape of the curve into a nice steep ramp. With that done, I can play through my footage and see if it's just what I wanted and it looks good to me. So this has been a little bit about how to speed ramp footage in Blender. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.